I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and in this episode we're out here in Sand Hollow learning how to drive in the dunes. So here we are out here at Sand Mountain OHV area just outside of Sand Hollow State Park and today is all about driving on the dunes. Next to me I have Jeff. Jeff, thanks so much for being with oh, us. Thanks for having me out here with you guys. Absolutely. Jeff is from the Desert Rosen Trail Society. We're very happy to have him out here as a guide for us and to show us some of the techniques behind wheeling in the sand because it is a little bit different from what we're used to. So we have the Deegan Jeep out here. This is the Jeep that we built for Brian Deegan. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can check that video out as well as our video of us wheeling this Jeep at Easter Jeep Safari this year. That was an absolute blast. So this Jeep's pretty well set up, but Jeff's going to talk us through a little bit more about how you want your Jeep to be set up and some of the techniques that you're really going to use out here in the sand. I know we were talking about the fact that you can pretty much take a stock vehicle out here and, and wheel it. That's correct. All you need out here to get on the sand is just air your tires down, get a bigger footprint, a little bit of horsepower, and some common sense. And anybody can come out here and wheel in the sand. If you have something, especially something like yours, that's got a big wide tire, it's an even bigger footprint, that's going to give you some more traction. It gives you a lot more traction, yeah. a little more aggressive tread. Mm -hmm. You can get too aggressive if you don't have enough power and then you're just gonna dig a hole and you're not gonna go anywhere. If you do start getting yourself into one of those situations, don't just hammer down and dig it down to the frame. Right, so we'll that's, that's not a fun situation yeah. to be in. Yeah, we have uh, the Deegan Jeep, as like we said before, this has uh, 37 by 1250 tires on it. It's got a four inch lift to clear those tires. And maybe most importantly about this setup are the shocks. These are the Falcon 3.3 adjustable shocks. We have them on a, uh, a fairly soft setting because you said out here with some of the razors and the ATVs, it can get pretty right, bumpy. Right, it gets pretty bumpy with the tracks that people leave. And then also uh, you'll notice on the dunes, depending on which direction the wind goes, there's a razor back. And that's real steep. You don't want to go up them because you probably won't make it. Right. But you don't want to fly them off off of them either and sure. do a nose dive in the sand. Yeah, but not something yeah, we I don't want think to do. I'd ever want to do yeah. one. But again, that's why we have the expert. We have Jeff out here. He's going to make sure that nothing like that happens to us today. And then we're just out here having a great time. So Jeff's going to be riding my shotgun. We're going to hop in the Deegan Jeep and he's going to show me some of the techniques out here, have a little bit of fun. And then Jeff's going to get in his Jeep. We're going to play some follow the leader, rip around out here, have a great time. So let's get after it. So before we got out here on the sand, the first thing that Jeff had us do out here is, is airing down, right, Jeff? So that's giving us a pretty decent sized footprint. But you were saying about not wanting to air down too much because you can actually get sand in the beat? Yeah, you'll when you when you hit something, it'll open your beat up, you get sand in there, and then all your air leaks out and cuts into your play time. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to have fun out here. Coming up to a couple of decent sized dunes here, tell me essentially how I want to approach these. Naturally, speeds on your favor, mm -hmm. okay? If you try to go up something slow, you're not gonna make it. Right. You've gotta check out the bottom of the dune, make sure you have a good approach ramp, okay. so you're not nose diving into the dune, because sure. if you do that, you're gonna lose your momentum, and it's not gonna feel good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then you just need to stay in the throttle till you get to the top, and then Try not to fly over the top of the dunes okay. unless you know what's on the other side and you've got a good landing. Got it. So you, uh, you, it's a little bit of throttle control because, like you said, you want to be into it to keep your momentum to the top. But once you get to the top, slow down pretty aggressively so you can see wh what you're coming down. Right. So this is a little bit, a little dune. It's not a huge dune, but it's a little right. bit of a dune. So we're going to kind of try out some of the technique that you talked about. So I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle till we get to the top, ease off so we can ease see what's going down. Ease off so we can see what's on the other mm -hmm. side because if you can't see, when you get to the top, turn off and ride the top of the dune oh, okay. until you can see and then you can turn back down and go okay. off the other side. Okay. Then you don't have to slow down. Yeah, all right. So, get a little bit of throttle here. Yeah, that's a pretty steep drop oh, yeah. off there. Ooh, that is pretty <laughs> steep. I can see what you mean there. If, if you don't let off and you carry speed over that. Yeah, you're, you're, you're becoming an airplane with no wings. <laughs> and that's not what you want because when you nose in on the other side, that's when you end up with some problems. So we know that right now the wind that shaped these dunes was coming from our back. So pretty much every dune that we come every upon dune. is going to be the same Correct. thing. A little gentler here. It's going to be the same thing. And this, one, this one's a little steeper at the mm -hmm. top. So you're going to need a little bit more momentum. Mm -hmm. Just let off at the top. Yep. Or you can actually slam on your brakes Break. and slide off the other side. Okay. And hopefully it's not 300 feet to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> you're going to need a lot of momentum. Okay. Straight 
off on this side. Good job. So uh, yeah, I panicked a little bit when we got to the top, came to a complete stop. Luckily, didn't get high centered. We weren't too far over to the right and we were able to save it. So out here on the sand, you can definitely get yourself stuck, but it's also very preventable, you were saying, as long as you do the right thing once you start spinning. When you're, right. on, when you're climbing something, yes, it's definitely preventable. The important thing is to stop before you bury your axles to where you have to shovel it out. And I know we're friends, but if you bury it to the axles, you're on your own, buddy. I hear you. <laughs> well, we'll do everything we can to prevent that. So it's pretty much, when I start feeling spin, when I really lose momentum, we want to back out of it, right? Well, yeah, as long as you're moving, there's a possibility that you could still make it. Got it. That's when the vehicle comes to a dead stop is where you're going to dig in. Got it. Okay. When the vehicle comes to a dead stop, that's when you let off the throttle, put it in reverse, and you can back down it. And the important thing that you're going to remember is to keep the vehicle straight yes. when you're coming down. So we're going to try this, which is pretty steep. We're going to take it a little bit slower. That way we can get a good feel for, for how that process for works. That, so exactly. Out. There you go. Yeah. So right as you come to a complete stop, as you said, that's when you that's want to hit the brake. That's when you want to let off the throttle, stop. You should be good to back down. But yeah, we got gravity on our side here. Yeah. So this is a small little one, so, oh yeah, it makes it real easy to, to come out of it. And then like you said, as long as you keep the steering wheel right. straight. So what we're going to do here is back up and try the same thing, but now try not to get stuck and uh, give it a little more throttle, see what happens. <laughs> a little too fast. <laughs> oh, they're all right. Making it better than not. Yeah. All right. Well, you gave me a, a real good crash course there. Got some of the techniques down. Got some experience under my belt. Maybe you hop in your Jeep. I'll stay in this one. We'll play a little follow the leader, rip around, have a good time. Okay. <laughs> Is he using that dune like a big berm? Hitting it going 30, 35 mile an hour, but just screaming high RPM, keeping that wheel speed up. around in two-wheel drive without rear locker on, having a good time. It's always keeping an eye out for other people. Yeah, a ton of ATVs, dirt bikes, all kinds of different side-by-sides out here. <laughs> Got a little sideways coming down the hill there. Didn't want to get myself into too much trouble. Man, just fine. I tell you, you get some good wheel speed up and you can go up stuff that doesn't look like you should be able to go up. But it is still about throttle control because you want to carry as much momentum as you can through the climb. But once you get up to the top, you really want to slow down so you don't air out coming over the top of the thing. Jeff's making a little climb here. Have to get some wheel speed up for this one for sure. We're trying to just get back to where we started here. And these hills are steep. The sun's been baking them all day long. The sand is super, super dry. This is, uh, this is definitely giving us a bit of a fit here. So I'm gonna give it another run here and see how I do. Made it. <laughs> just hammer down sometimes.
Well, that's going to do it for us wheeling out here on the dunes. I learned a lot, had an absolute blast, and I want to say a couple of thank yous. First to you, Jeff, thank you so much for showing us around, teaching me how to wheel out here. It's been my pleasure. You're very welcome. Also, a thank you to Brian Deegan for letting us borrow the Deegan Jeep. We beat on this thing today, but we are giving it back to him all in one piece, which I'm sure he'll be happy about. And also a very big thank you to the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management that helped to make this video possible. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can check out us wheeling this Jeep out at Easter Jeep Safari and some of the best Jeep content out there.